This video will cover the topic evaluating an expression with a negative exponent whole number base. In our first example, we will use the problem 7 to the power of negative 2. How is evaluating an expression with a negative exponent any different than evaluating with a positive exponent? That's a great question. The main difference between a negative and a positive exponent is that we need to make the negative exponent a positive before we evaluate the expression. How would we do that? To make the negative exponent a positive, we need to move both the number and the exponent to the denominator. If the number and the exponent were in the denominator, then we would move it to the numerator. Now knowing these two rules, let's solve this problem. We first move our number and exponent to the denominator to get a positive exponent. This gets us the result of 1 divided by 7 squared. From here, we would just follow the rules of exponents by squaring the 7 to get rid of the exponent. This gets us our final answer of 1 divided by 49. Now that we have done an example, would you like to try and solve a problem with the number and exponent being in the denominator? Sure, I think I'm ready. Great, your problem is 1 divided by 3 to the power of negative 3. So, from what we learned, the first step is to move both a number and exponent to the numerator in order to make the exponent positive. This will get us 3 cubed. From there, we just follow the rules of exponents to cube the 3 in order to get rid of the exponent. This gets us our final answer of 27. Perfect.